This week was meant to be one of the coolest weeks for Harry Potter fans as we were getting this amazing trailer and we were getting brand new information about Hogwarts Legacy. Now, it all started good at the beginning of the week until we got into the later of the week when everything broke loose. We got a bunch of controversies happening with Hogwarts Legacy. I was extremely excited, but after hearing and reading every single comment, guys, about what is going on, I'm getting a little bit worried. Today we're going to be talking about two main controversies that are happening in the game. One is the Collector's Edition and the other one is the brand new thing we found out today is that PlayStation users will get an exclusive quest plus an exclusive potion. Today we're going to be talking about that so let's go ahead and jump right in it. So like I said guys, we were excited. The trailer was awesome. We were dope to find out how the dark arcs work, how you unlock them. You definitely want to check out the videos we have here on the channel. But the controversy started rolling with the Collector's Edition. Of course, not too much of a problem when it comes to the Deluxe Edition or the other editions is mainly the Collector's Edition. The Collector's Edition is going to cost you a whopping $300. Now, the price point is not so much a big of a deal, but what is a big of a deal that everybody's talking about is the lack of content that Collector's Edition comes with. For those of you who don't know, the Collector's Edition comes out with everything that the Deluxe Edition comes with. The only thing that's additional to the actual box itself is the fact that you get a book and you get a floating wand on the book. Now that's actually a pretty cool piece of art if you ask me, it looks really dope, but there is a lack of content for $300. A lot of people are asking for multiple stuff and I'm of the idea that yes, there has to be more stuff added to the collector's edition, but some people just go overboard and ask for way too much. I think for the collector's edition to be heavily worth and heavily incentivized, there has to be more in-game content and also, there has to be more valuable stuff that you're able to get from the Collector's Edition. When I saw the unboxing of the Collector's Edition, one thing that stood out to me, and I want to know from you guys if you did see the unboxing, if this actually stood out for you guys. The way the box comes, it doesn't give me the feeling that this is a $300 worth product. The reason being is when you look at the box and when the unboxing was being unboxed, this looked like it was just a regular standard cardboard box. When you see the person unboxing it, it just looks standard. Now, having opened multiple collector's editions, there's sometimes when you get the box and it feels very premium. And yes, it might be a cardboard box, but that cardboard box is actually thick. This one looks like it's as thin as paper. It looks like, if, I mean, if someone steps on it, it's pretty much over. Now, in addition to that, when they go and proceed to opening the box, when you get the product out, you got this whole white plasticky looking thing. I mean, they could have done a better job presenting this. Maybe instead of having this plasticky white looking thing to hold the box or to hold the book, they could have done a nice cardboard black finish to kind of give it that premium feel. To me, the overall standing look and feel of the collector's edition does not give me that premium vibe that I paid $300. This gives me like I paid $100 and this is what I got. You know, when it comes to unboxings and when it comes to getting stuff that you pay a lot of money for, especially collector's edition, even though the item inside it might not be worth the $300, the boxing should make you feel like you're unboxing a $300 product. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys agree or disagree. All right, so that was one thing. Now let's talk about the whole PlayStation exclusive quest line and exclusive potion. Guys, one of the things that got a lot of people triggered is the fact that they waited for the pre-orders and everything to go live to actually announce the day the pre-orders went. Now, a lot of people are in the boat where they bought the game on PC, they bought it on Xbox, and, you know, they're checking Twitter. They're really excited that they actually bought it and bought the pre-purchase, and boom, bada bing, on Twitter, we get a message saying the following, that the PlayStation users will be getting an exclusive quest line. Now... That's okay, that's fine. I mean, it's something we got in accustomed to due to the fact that, you know, Sony has been paying for a lot of games. And, of course, they do want to get something in return. We get that. Now, there's been multiple ways that companies have been able to address this by giving the company exclusive-looking items that you're able to get within the game, like maybe a different cloak, maybe a different outfit. But a quest line, it's a little bit going over the board, but it's not something too much to kind of get us upset or to be like, man, that's kind of really bad. They shouldn't have done that. Because if you guys remember during the Call of Duty days, this was actually happening when the PlayStation got four maps early or they got four maps that weren't coming to the Xbox and yada, yada, yada. The thing that has people extremely upset, and I think a lot of us should probably be kind of on the upset side. I want to know from you guys, so let me know in the comment section down below. Is the fact that they are going to be getting a specific potion 
that is not going to be available to anybody else unless they play the game on the PlayStation. Chandler Woods came out and said the Flex Felix Potion is exclusive to pre-ordering any PlayStation version of the game. So whether you order a PlayStation 4 or a PlayStation 5, you'll get access to these Felix Potion. Now, as of right now, in-game, we don't know what that potion actually does, but we do know based on the lore what the potion is intended to do. Now, seeing how the game does go along with a lot of the lore, let's talk about exactly what the Felix Potion actually does. Now, the Felix Potion is actually considered the luck liquid or the lucky liquid, right? The Felix Potion causes the drinker to have a limited period of luck during which they were likely to succeed in all endeavors in which success is possible. They have a strong perception of this effect, including a high level of confidence and a sensation of infinite opportunity. Now, basically, this potion allows you to be lucky at everything to do. So let's say you want to go play the lottery, you drink this potion, and you're going to win. Let's say you go play a game of basketball, you drink this potion, you're going to win. And this was actually so heavily banned in Harry Potter World is that the fact that they banned it from Quidditch because it was so useful and effective that people would drink this and they would actually win. Now, the question is, why is this a problem when it comes to the game, right? The problem number one being is the fact that if you own a different version of the game, so you own it on PC and Xbox, as of right now, you won't be able to get any of this potion. You won't be able to use it. You won't be able to craft it. You won't be able to get it anytime, anytime soon. So what that means, you won't be able to get the option of luck. Now, why would that even be important in the game, right? Well, remember, this is an RPG game, and as you progress throughout the game, you will be able to maybe open chests, you will be able to defeat enemies and get certain items, you may be able to get spells. Now, think about it this way. If you actually are doing these activities and you apply this potion to yourself, that means you will be able to be lucky every time you open that chest. So let's say that particular there's a chest that rewards a specific wand that everybody wants to get. This is theoretically speaking. I don't have no confirmation of this. And you have to pretty much defeat this boss over and over, pretty much farm the boss. If you're on the PlayStation, you can actually just drink this potion and you will automatically get the wand if the potion works the way it's intended to work. Now, people who are playing on the PC and on the Xbox won't have this ability and they will probably have to farm the boss 100 times to be able to get that specific one. Now, this is just an example. doesn't mean that that's happening in the game, but I kind of want to give you the idea where people are coming from where they're upset that this particular potion won't be in the game. Now, this potion could be limited. It could just be one potion that you get when you buy the game, but the fact that you have this potion for luck gives me the perception that this is going to be available to be used whenever you want to get a specific item in the game that you haven't been lucky getting. Now, as of right now, we currently know this is only for the PlayStation. Maybe with everybody complaining or everybody raising concern about this, it gets added to the game or maybe it gets added to the game later throughout the year or it gets added to the game where it takes a very long time to craft one of these potions and you have to sit and wait for the potion to be crafted, unlike PlayStation 4 users who already have the potion available in the inventory. So yes, guys, this is the major controversy happening in the game, but I want to know from you guys, what do you guys think? Do you think it's fair for PlayStation to get this potion early? And is it fair that no one else will be able to get it unless you're a PlayStation user? Let me know in the comment section below. I do hope you guys are enjoying our Hogwarts Legacy coverage. If you are, do me a huge favor, guys. Drop a comment, drop a like. We're going to have you completely covered with a lot of stuff, so check out this video that's popping up right now on the screen. More Hogwarts Legacy info, how to get the dark arts how to do all the good stuff in hogwarts legacy is going to be covered right here completely in the channel if you want to help the channel out and show a little bit more love and support do consider part becoming part of the bolt nation by clicking the join button down below and if you want to show even more love and support do hit us with a nice juicy fat thank you in the button down below we would greatly appreciate it thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you guys on the next video